today we are going to be looking at the Little Lockets Memory Studio. It says that we get to make 10 lockets out of this set. It says all you need to do is fill it, lock it, and wear it. It makes necklaces, bracelets, and keychains and comes with 121 pieces. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the box. So here is the back of the box. It says design your own custom lockets and express your individual style, unique interests, and cherished memories. And then it has a little list of what comes in the box and a picture of what's inside as well. So let's go ahead and open it up. So the first thing that we have in the box is our memory studio, which takes three AA batteries. Next, we have our locket display, which is these two pieces. We're just going to place them together like that. And then we will put them on the back of the memory studio. So before we take a look at what else came in the box, I just want to take a look at the memory studio real quick. So we have a little knob right here on the front. And what you can do is you can turn it to the left to open up the lid. And then you will build your locket right here. And then when you're done, you will turn this to the right to seal your locket. And right here we have a little spinning top area where we can turn this top part and we can get to our little compartments here where we're going to store our pieces. So that is really cool. Once everything is stored, and you are finished making your locket, you can just push this all the way over here so that it's nice and sealed, so that nothing spills out. Next, we have our tweezers. So here's what the tweezers look like. They look really cool. They've got these little like diamonds on the side. And you can use them as regular tweezers to pick things up by pinching, or you can use the little scoop on the back to scoop up some gems. And what we're gonna do with this is we're just going to place it right back here in the little storage area. So that is really cool. Next we have our locket tops. So here is the locket top. This is what they look like. This one is a purple one with a heart. We also have a blue one with a heart and a pink one with a heart. And these ones have one hook on them, which means that they can go on a keychain or on a necklace. Next we have four of the locket tops. And these ones are all circular, and again, these ones can go on a necklace or on a keychain. So this one is a pink circle, a green circle, a blue circle, and a yellow circle. Next, we have our locket tops for our bracelets. So we have this purple star, we have a blue circle, and a pink star and you can tell that these ones are for the bracelets because they have the little loops on both sides here. Next we have 10 locket backs and all of these are exactly the same. They're just clear locket backs. Next we have our bracelets. So here's what the bracelets look like. They have these two little loops on the end. It's just like a little ribbon. This one is purple. We also have a blue one with yellow polka dots. And then we have a pink one, and this one is also kind of like a plain one, like the purple. Next, we have four necklaces. So as you can see, they're just like a little cord, and then they have these pieces on the end that you can clip together, like that. So that is really cool. So we have a blue one. We also have a pink one, a white one, and a green one. So that is really cool. Next, we have three keychain clasps. So each of these kind of looks like a little diamond. And here's what the clasp looks like. So that is really cool. And we just have a pink, purple, and blue one. Next, we have 16 backgrounds. So here we have some kind of plain backgrounds. And then we've got these ones, which are shiny backgrounds, which look really cool. And if you don't like the backgrounds that they come with, you can also use the background stencil to make your own. Next, we have 40 charms, and these all look really, really cool. And then we also have 30 of these little gems. And the last thing in the box is our instructions, which are fully colored and super simple to follow. So that is really cool. 
we've seen everything inside of the box, what we can do is we can take all of this stuff and place it inside of the memory studio. So what we're gonna do is I'm just going to quickly start placing everything inside of the storage. All right, so I'm finished organizing my supplies. So let's go ahead and start making our first locket. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to open up the top. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to get a back. So here's the back, and I'm just going to place it right here in this little circle. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to get these little background pieces. So we've got a bunch of different backgrounds here. I think I'm gonna just stick with a plain looking background. So let's see, hmm. I kinda like this one because it kinda looks like a little gem. So I'm gonna do this pink one. And we're just gonna place it right here, like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our tweezers and we can use this little gem piece right here to catch a little gem. And I have this little heart right there. It looks really cute. So let's go ahead and place it right here. And a little blue gem. And a star. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our tweezers and we are going to grab one of our little charms that we popped out. And I think I'm gonna choose this one right here. This one is a little smiley face sun, so that looks really cool. And then we're just going to place it in our locket. Next, we're gonna get our little locket top and I'm gonna use this little pink one with the heart on it. Place it right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the knob to the right to close it. And now we'll open it back up. And we can just pick up our locket. Here is a closer look at the locket. And it looks really cool. So for this locket, I'm going to turn it into a necklace. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the two ends, make sure that they are even. Take this piece right here and push it through that loop like that. And then pull this piece through. And then just kind of give it a little pull like that. So then we can take the clasps at the end and seal it. So that is really cool. Now, one of the things that you can actually do with your locket is if you decide, oh, I don't really like this. I want to change one of the charms. You can see on the side, I think it's on one of these sides somewhere. Here it is. Uh, we have this little notch on it, and what you can do is you can just open it back up just like that, and you can change your charm. So that is really cool, and then you can just close it back up when you're done. So you have to be kind of careful so that your little back piece doesn't come apart from the locket, otherwise you might lose some of your charms and gems. So you got to be pretty careful with that. Now, if you want to take your locket and you want to just store it, what you can do is you can put it on this back piece where we can store them. And you can just store it like that, so that is really cool. So for this one, I'm going to be making a keychain. So we're just going to get a locket back piece. We're going to open it up. We're going to place that in the center right here. Now what we could do is get a background piece like we did the last time, but since we've already done that, what we're gonna do is we're going to use our background stencil. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm going to use this picture of my daughter. Um, this one was from when she was just three years old, so it's a really cute picture. I have a bunch of wallet sizes which are pretty perfect for this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our stencil and we can place it right here on top of the picture then use a pen and trace it just like that really easy and then what we're going to do is we are going to get some scissors and then we will just cut out that little circle around that line
Now I'm going to take my picture and place it inside of the locket like that. Now since I already have a picture, I'm not going to put any of the charms in there, but I will put some of the gems. So let me go ahead and scoop out a couple little gems. So here's a little blue one. Here is a little purple heart. And a pink heart, so that is really cool. Next we're gonna pick out the locket that we want and I'm just gonna use this green one with a little circle on it. Place it down. Then we're gonna put down the lid and tighten it. And then we can take the lid off. All right, so here's a closer look at my locket and it looks really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the keychain and we're just going to pop that on the little loop right here, like that. And then you can just hook it to your keys right here, so that is really cool. So for our third locket, what we are going to do is we are going to make a bracelet. So let's go ahead and open up the lid. Next we're going to get a bat place it right there in the center. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other backgrounds that we have. So we already did a plain background, so I don't want to do any more of those. See, we have one with like a heart and it's all metallic. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to do this star one, which is like really shiny. And then I want to put it in front of another piece. So let's see which ones we have. Ooh, we got some nice ones here. Let's see, how about this pink one? So I'm gonna use the star and a pink one, and they're both the shiny metallic ones. So that is pretty cool. I'm just gonna put one on top of the other like that. So that is really awesome. And then we're just going to place it right here. So I want this one to be um, kind of star themed. So we have a little star charm right here. And I'm just gonna place it like this. Let's see if I can kind of squish it in there. That looks really cool. Then we'll take some of these little star gems and we will place them in there. And just let them kind of float around on top. And then we have this little bracelet locket and this one has a little star on it so that's really cool. I'm going to try to line it up with the star underneath like that. So that is really cool. Then we're just going to close the top. And then we will open it up. So I thought that this one came out really cool. We have our star charm, we have the star gems, and then we also have the star locket, and then a star background. So this thing is covered in stars, and it looks really cool. Now we are going to get our ribbon, and we're just going to place this corner on one side, like that. And if you flip it around, you can see it's starting to come out. Pull it. Then push it through again, and pull it, and then for this one, I think what you would do is just kind of take it through here, then maybe loop it around, and maybe close it up like that. So that is really cool. Right, you guys so what did you think of the little locket it's memory studio so I thought that this set was really cool I love the way that you can store all of your pieces inside of the memory studio we also have four spots in the back so that you can display some of your lockets and if you guys run out of stuff you can just open up your old lockets and do it over again so that is really cool so let me know what you guys think of the Little Lockets Memory Studio. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more Little Lockets videos.
come back tomorrow for a new video. And if you like the video you just saw, don't forget to check out our other videos. Find us on Facebook and other social media. And as always, thanks for watching.